Uncommon Burials, The Resurrection Men of Pittsfield, Massachusetts. There are many places in the world who one would think of as the centres of 19th century resurrection men. Places such as Edinburgh's Old Town, the famous haunt of Burke and Hare. However, another more hidden location lies in the west of Massachusetts, the town of Pittsfield, a town whose dark associations 200 years ago are almost unknown and have become a hidden history. It is this history which we shall now uncover. Pittsfield's roots began in the early to mid 19th century, a frontier to the furthest west of the colonial land first settled a century earlier. The area known to the Mohicans as Pontusuk, meaning a field or haven for winter deer. By the 1760s, the collection of villages were incorporated as Pittsfield, named after British Prime Minister William Pitt the Elder. The early settlers had been buried here, in what is now Park Square. Like all New England towns, the burial site was situated close to the first church. As the town grew, however, having a cemetery in the middle of the town was no longer desirable and the residents of its first cemetery were moved from the first cemetery to its newest, the area named the Common. It was here that those first settlers and the hundreds who followed them would be placed to remain and rest in peace. That at least was the idea. The 19th century both in Europe and the newly created United States saw a huge expansion in the fields of medicine and meeting this demand, medical schools both legitimate and slightly less legitimate sprang up across the east of the newly created states. One problem however, which would continue to be so all the way into the early to mid 19th century, was subjects to practice anatomy on. The problem was, there never seemed enough bodies to go around. Following and continuing British law, the only bodies that could legally be used for anatomical dissection were those who had been executed. A further problem being that Massachusetts was executing less and less people each year, with less than 40 persons receiving the death penalty between 1800 and 1830. 40 bodies was not enough for one medical school, let alone the numerous ones spread across the state. Perhaps due to the isolated frontier nature of western Massachusetts, away from the denser centres of population to the east, there was an easy solution to the lack of specimens in the medical school near Pittsfield, albeit a covert and sinister one. That solution lay in the grounds of the common and burial grounds of the surrounding area. So prolific was the advent of body snatching that not one town or village in western Massachusetts did not have a visit from the resurrection men in the early decades of the 19th century. The most well-known case and the one that led to the resulting scandal took place here in 1813, present-day Wren Avenue. This site was during the War of 1812, the largest prisoner of war camp for British soldiers in the country. This site also is situated across from the common. During that year, the camp commander, Thomas Melville, grandfather of the author of Moby Dick, Herman Melville, was alerted to the missing body of a British soldier who had died in the camp and was buried in the common. Shortly after, another soldier's body was removed from their grave, at which point Melville had all military bodies removed. This did not stop the exhumations for long, however. The culprits simply began exhuming the town's inhabitants, in November 1819, George Butler Jr., a well-known resident of Pittsfield, died and was buried in the cemetery on the common. At this point, his mother began to speak of strange dreams, of seeing in her sleep the grave of her son empty. The dreams were so persistent that once the ground had thawed in the spring, Butler's coffin was exhumed only to discover that the dreams were correct in their prophecy and his body had indeed gone. His gravesite and empty coffin became a local macabre attraction, with people from Pittsfield and the local area gathering at the common all that summer to see the open grave and empty coffin and witness the heinous act that had occurred. Ironically, three years later in 1822, while the desecrations were fresh in the memory and the planned uses for the stolen bodies well known, with rather less tact than was required, the Berkshire Medical College approached the town's authorities to request the common for the site of the building of their new campus and anatomy school on the common itself, to the outrage of the populace. 
This, however, did not stop the bodies being snatched. Stories continued of missing bodies, including a mill worker and a young girl whose body had been exhumed and hidden in the cape of one of the medical students. The town finally acted and passed a law making the exhumations of the dead unlawful. This, however, did not go far enough for the population of Pittsfield, and after medical students were caught body snatching further afield in 1830, they turned to mob justice. Marching on the campus with Major Butler Goodrich, the crowd threatened to burn the building to the ground if the bodies were not returned to them for reburial. The medical school consented and the bodies were returned, alongside the school enacting tougher regulations for the source of the specimens used. This ended the era of the resurrection men at the site of the Pittsfield Common. It is not, however, the end of the story for the dead buried there. In the 1870s, all the remaining graves that could be located on the common were disinterred and removed to here, the new Pittsfield Cemetery on Wakona Street, which includes the grave of the Butlers, the family whose member George Butler Jr. and his desecration began the end of the Resurrection Men. When I say all the remaining graves, this does not include the many that were not located. Maybe there still lies somewhere under this grass the remains of those who were victims to the macabre underworld of 19th century medical science. Thank you for watching. For more dark tales from history, you are invited to follow on social media and take a stroll on the pages of the website www.ofgraveconcern.com for original art inspired by actual dark history from 1348 to 1848. Sleep well.